Evaporation We already know that a mixture can be separated into its constituent components by various different techniques. Let us now discuss these techniques one by one and see how they can be employed for the separation of a mixture's components. Let us learn about evaporation in this module. This process can be employed for separating the components of a mixture where one component is volatile and the other is non-volatile. Let us see an example to understand this better. The colored component or the dye can be obtained from blue or black colored ink by the process of evaporation. This is because ink is a homogeneous mixture of dye in water where water, the solvent, is a volatile component and dye, the solute, is a non-volatile component. But what actually is the procedure for separating the dye? Well, here it is. First, put a few drops of blue or black colored ink on a watch glass. Now, place this watch glass on the mouth of a beaker half filled with water. And then, heat the water in the beaker. The steam thus formed will heat up the ink. The water present in the ink evaporates and ultimately a blue or black residue is left on the watch glass. This is the dye. This technique of evaporation finds application in separation of non-volatile components dissolved in volatile solvents. Therefore, common salt is also separated from the sea using this method.